the significance of the aerial shot is it allows cinematographers to tell a story by giving an overview. It puts the action, the people, uh, the objects into a context and that helps and tells the story and that's what's important to cinematographers. Putting aerial shots within the reach of ordinary everyday productions will really give the cinematographers and directors of photography a chance to tell the story and if the finalists UAVs can be more tolerant of weather that'll make it much more reliable. You'll be able to know that you can go out and get a shot um, and plan for it in a way that's not possible now. With our technology, the audio can be separated and transmitted from the UAV as a clean audio stream. Imagine using a UAV in a search and rescue application and being able to hear clean voices in a forest or at the bottom of a cliff. There are two parts to our solution. The first part is that we need to know precisely where the drone is in space. And I'm talking sub-centimetre precision or better. With this, we gain a higher degree of control and we can guide the UAV along any flight path reliably and repeatedly. I think firstly we've, we've generated a great lot of interest and buzz around the UAV technology industry in New Zealand. Um, there's been a lot of talk in the blogs and discussion uh, forums about the competition and it's really building that culture of innovation and entrepreneurship. So that's the first kind of impact we're seeing. And then secondly, I think we are going to really see some interesting technologies and commercial outcomes from the competition itself. When we saw the Callaghan Innovation Sea Prize competition, we thought this is a signal we've been waiting for. And we see UAVs as a perfect way to get into the ro robotics industry without uh, having multi-billion dollar budgets, you know, this is a nice entry level for us to show that we can create something new and innovative and take it to market. Over the past three and a half to four months, it's been an absolutely like massive effort from seven of us. Um, I, I guess each, some of us are putting in 10, 15, maybe even more hours a week um, spread over the past few weeks. And especially as, as we're coming closer to pitch day and the testing day, um, it's really, you know, the effort's really ramped up and we've had a, definitely had a few late nights. We're having issue taking off, like we, we did a flight before but then we loaded a whole bunch of new equipment on it so it got a lot heavier but we hadn't changed some settings for it to take off. When we got back we changed the settings to work fine but we just didn't have the equipment to do it all there. Um, uh, just Murphy's Law I guess. We are confident from our business case we can certainly see some markets available. From the research we did to get to this point um, we definitely identified a gap in the market, 